Ah, what a beautiful day. Absolutely perfect weather. Not too hot, not too cold. And no other humans to bother me. Just me in the forest. Let's see, what do I need to do today? Forage for some mushrooms? Count my inventory of ingredients? And brew some poisons and potions. I suppose I should also figure out something to do with those poisons. I could sell them to criminal organizations. Those assassins probably need more of them. But the last time I sold to them, they got caught, and the knights almost tracked them back to me. Ugh. I'll find someone to buy from me eventually. I'm sure there'll be some delinquents from one of the nearby villages that would be interested. Maybe I could swing by there tonight. Wait, what was that? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Just what I need. A witch hunter in the vicinity of my hut. Hmm. They're actually kind of cute. Maybe I should toy with this one a little bit. <laughs> that might be quite fun, actually. I should lure them into my hut. Let them think that they are making some sort of progress. Ah, I know. An illusion of myself should do the trick. All right, illusion. Do your thing. Oh, hello there. Yes, over here. All right, stop there. That's close enough. What is a nice, strong person like you doing out here in my woods? Oh, so you're a witch hunter. That makes sense. I assume you're here for me, then. Aw, that's so sweet of you. You came all the way out here by yourself for me? You seem like such a nice person. W wait you can put the sword down. <gasps> oh, I'm an illusion, you dummy. You're so stupid. Hey, don't go anywhere. We can talk about this, right? You don't need to go off and look for the real me. Shit, they seem very determined just to get this over with. Most of the hunters want to imprison me. This one clearly has other plans. <sighs> I guess I'll just try to have the illusion slow them down so I can get away. You know, you don't have to catch the real me, right? If you give me some time, I could create a clone of myself and you could just kill that. Wow, you really do hate witches, then. I thought most of you were just mercenaries looking for some extra gold. You seem to be in it for more than that. Where are you from, by the way? I am not trying to stall you. I would never use such cheap tactics to get away. Oh, come on. I'm just having some fun. I don't see anything wrong with messing with my inevitable captor. That was a compliment. Don't get so mad I was saying that you're going to catch me. Or, I know you have other plans. I'm just trying to be hopeful, you know? A girl can be hopeful. I'm not going to leave you alone. Actually, you know what? Let's make a deal. You leave me alone to my little hut in the woods, and I'll quit annoying you. Sound fair? Of course it doesn't sound fair. You're very selfish, you know. I haven't even done anything wrong. And you are so insistent on 
disposing of me. Wait, how did you know the demon that got unleashed in a nearby town was me? I mean, it wasn't me. Definitely not me. Just wondering how you found out about that. Everyone in the big city was talking about it? Ah, oh, that makes sense. You're from Islamir, the great human capital of the north. You're a long way from home. What brings you out here? I'm not trying to change the subject. Fine, fine, you win. I summon the demon. Now tell me why you're all the way out here. <laughs> None of the witch hunters from around here were able to catch me. So the local lords all pitched together to hire one of the best from the north. And that's you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You're serious. You're one of the best witch hunters in the realm. God, I've seen fairies more intimidating than you. Though, I have to say, you are quite the alluring one. If these were different circumstances, I might invite you into my hut to brew some potions, so to speak. You want me, admit it. You want me dead? God, you are so rude. You're really fun to annoy, though. Do all the witch hunters from the north have such a giant stick up their ass? They don't? Huh, well, that's interesting, I suppose. Oh, I think I know why you're so crabby. You're too hot. No, not in that way. Don't let it get to your head. Well, I mean, you are hot in that way, but that's not the point. Shut up. Anyways, you were from the north and come to the south wearing all that fur and armor and whatnot. You must be burning up in there. Why don't you go ahead and take some of it off? You'll be much more relaxed. Oh, come on. Just a little bit. You've almost caught up to the real me. Show me a little something before you catch me. Hey, don't run off ahead to catch me first. You might fall into a... <laughs> a fall trap. Wow. They actually fell for that. Anyways, I suppose it's time for the real me to take over again. Hey, down there. Oh, you got so close to catching me. I guess you aren't as good of a witch hunter as you thought. You got so impatient. You really wanted me in cuffs, didn't you? Yeah, you did, you kinky witch hunter, you. Do shut up. I'm not going to hurt you. Much. You will feel a little pinch, though, as I shoot you with this sleep dart. Sleep tight. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? You're finally awake. Don't bother trying to escape. Those chains have been enchanted. You are stuck here with me. Trust me, if I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be talking right now. I may have been annoying you back there, but that was just to distract you so you wouldn't notice my little trap. I may have other uses for you. You witch hunters, you've been a real pain in my side for a long time now. I think it's time I take a little revenge, and I think you'll be involved with it. Yeah, if it's true that you are one of the most famous and talented witch hunters, then you'll be perfect to make an example of. <laughs> no, that doesn't mean you are going to die. It means... 
It means me making you switch sides. We'll see how that goes, though. You seem pretty stubborn. I might have to just torture you. Anyways, I have some errands to run, so I'm going to head out for a bit. Don't wander off too far. <laughs> oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> Toodles.